What's up, everybody? It's April Dawn. I'm here to do my Being Mary Jane recap review. This is season four, episode five, um, Going Home, Going Home. So overall this week, I thought the episode was really good. I enjoyed the episode. Um, what I'm going to say about the episode is no hate. It's just that um, it felt like I was, you can tell that it's not under Mara Rock Akil anymore. You can tell that it's Will Packer now because it low-key felt like I was watching This Christmas or soul food or you know one of those black movies from the early 2000s and the late 90s you know that type of movie um will packer makes a lot of those kinds of movies uh ride along you know those type of movies so the way everything was so nice and nice and wrapped up and everybody had their little meaningful speech but it was an entertaining show it was good to see the family Mary Jane is happy for once. Lord, she's happy for once and everything is going smooth for once. So, <clears throat> shout out because we finally got some relief because we need it. I mean, just at least for a minute before things fall apart again because they inevitably will fall apart again. Okay, so let's get into the episode. So at the beginning of the episode, Mary Jane and Kara, um, Kara is plotting as she does. She's like the best person in the world. Okay, she's plotting again to get um, Mary Jane a job covering this benefit that's happening for Thurgood Marshall in Atlanta. Normally, this will be Rhonda's gig, but the other anchor is on vacation. So, because Rhonda doesn't want... Um, normally, that means Mary Jane would be, sit in the anchor seat, but because Rhonda doesn't want her to sit in the anchor seat, she's going to fight against it. So, they kind of did the Jedi mind trick on her because she didn't really want it. She wants to go to Atlanta. So, now we get to go see the parents. This is the excuse for us to go home and visit the family. Now, one person we did not see this week was PJ. That made me very sad. But, you know, PJ said that he wasn't going home no time soon. So, he ain't going home no time soon. Okay. So, so Mary Jane gets to Atlanta. She, um... She gets down to Atlanta, and right when she's getting there, Nisi is leaving to go pick up Travion from school because Travion has got in trouble for biting, okay? So uh, Mary Jane offers to stay at the at the house with him and not at the hotel, um, which I thought was nice. I mean, I love the way that Mary Jane loves her family. Like, when she go home, she a regular person. She not like your hoity toity auntie who, like, stuck up or whatever. Like, she's just her regular normal self. Like, when she goes home, like, I stay at home. When I go home, I sometimes I have to sleep in the bed with my mom because so many people live in the house. You know, I just sleep with my bed with my mom or I had to sleep on the couch or whatever you know you just kind of get in where you fit in no matter how much money you make or who you are or whatever when I go home to Slidell Louisiana you know I sometimes I sleep on my mama couch okay so <laughs> she's home she offers to stay at the house to help out with Travion great so um yeah she's warmly greeted they discuss how he's been behaving you and basically Travion is, is biting kids in school this is like his third time getting suspended so they told her if she gets suspended if he gets suspended one more time he's gonna get kicked out of the school now they have another couple there who is a white couple who who's but they are major donors to the school so you know uh their kid has the same problem but their kid is not being threatened with expulsion so that just highlights sometimes how um you know children of color are punished more harshly for the same things um it's not that they're worse it's just that they're punished more harshly and this turns out to be a pattern and a trending pattern in life where they come to expect it it's called pipeline preschool pipeline to prison check that out read all about that peoples okay <clears throat> get into it all right so <clears throat> it's because of his nightmares it's not because travion is a bad kid it's because he has nightmares that need to be treated mary jane later on the episode see she suggests that he get therapy um nisi and nisi takes it it was funny how she was like you know he needs therapy you know I feel like he should talk to a professional. She was like, I don't want them labeling him, you know. I don't want them labeling him. She was like, they would never do that. They would never label him. You know, I, I offered to pay for, okay, 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 no problem. I feel like he needed, okay. And as soon as she said she was going to pay for it, it was okay, okay. But, you know, it's for Trey, little Trey, y'all, little Trey, Trey. Okay, so, you know, little TT, we going to, um... We're going to get him some help, okay? He's going to talk to some people so he can stop biting the children at the school, child. Because you can't be, you're not supposed to be at my school biting no kids, okay? <laughs> no, <clears throat> absolutely not, okay? So, Mary Jane is on in the, on the room. She's on the phone. She's talking to Bay. You know, she's talking to Lee, London man, London Bridges. And so, 
they on the phone or whatever and you know they just caking on the phone talking about nothing and um he says it's a surprise waiting for you and she said oh i hate surprises somebody's knocking on the door she answers the door voila he's here he's shown up he conveniently has a show in atlanta so i'm low-key like you know, I'm, I'm all for the relationship. Okay, I just want to make that disclaimer. I, I, I'm happy for her. I'm happy that she's happy. But my thing is, how you know where my mom and daddy live? How you know that? How you just show up to my mom and daddy house? Like, how that go? Okay? Like, later on in the episode, <clears throat> excuse me, he tell, later on in the episode, he tells her that he is... Um, he purposely got his agent to book him the the show in Atlanta. So, I'm, so like, I'm like, mm, that's a little, that's a lot because he wanted to meet her parents. I'm just like, okay. I mean, I guess, you know, we're going to go with it because it's cute right now. But, you know, I be watching Obsessed, okay? And I be watching, um, what's the other show that come on ID? Stalked. I don't even come on no more. It's not called Stalked. It might be something. But it's about the stalkers. You know, it's the lady with the blonde hair. Y'all know I'm talking about because she was a stalking victim. And it be, girl, them, listen. Gotta watch that. How you know where mom and daddy live? That's all I'm trying to say. But he showed up at the house. It's great. It's wonderful. It's everything. He can't find a hotel. He has to stay at the house too. Mama lays down the law. Suge came out. Suge said, you gonna sleep in the family room and you gonna sleep um, with Travion. That's gonna be so cute. He gonna be so happy. Okay? It's so cute too because my nephew, when I went home for Christmas, he got a new bunk bed set and he was like, T.T. April, you gonna, are you gonna, um sleep in the bed with me, you know, sleep like in the bottom bunk. And so one night he was sitting up waiting on me. Like I was in the living room watching the movie till like midnight. He was waiting on me. Okay. He was like, are you coming? I was like, I'm coming. I'm coming, boo. <laughs> so I finally went and got to bed or whatever. I, and he's like at 10. You know what I mean? Like it was just so cute. But anywho, I digress. So she going to sleep with Travion. Um, London Bridge is going to sleep on the couch. Okay. So, you know, as we do, as grown folk do, you always be trying to hunt in your mama house, okay? So, um, not that first night. I don't think it was that first night. Um, so, we'll get to that later. But, um, so, Lee is a charming guy. He's charming the people at the, um, you know, the dinner table, the family. Everybody likes him. You know, mama like, you know, oh, this is serious. You know, oh, y'all gonna, oh, she thinking that, you know, he came, he came down there to propose to Mary Jane or whatever. So, the family really likes him. They have this um, on the table, uh, hog head cheese. Y'all, hog head cheese for my people who don't know who it is. It's like a jelly, gelatin type deal, and it's made with hog is the meat from the hog's head uh, like they said the feet the it's a whole bunch of stuff up in it. it but if you think about it it's sort of like pate um it you it is like a southern delicacy i mean if you think of like tuna tartare or you know things like this like caviar it's kind of like a deep southern um caviar <laughs> because i mean i've eaten it it has lots of herbs and spices in it and it's like a gelatin you normally eat it with crackers but um like my mom and then they would buy it when i was a kid and i can eat it but i eat like two crackers and i'm cool like, it's not nasty. It's just, yeah, it's a texture thing you would probably have to get over because it's like a gelatin type of consistency. Um, but like I said, I don't eat pig feet and chillings and all that type of stuff. But I'll eat a piece of um, hog head cheese. It's not horrible tasting. Like I said, it's spicy. It have little spices in it and stuff. It's not bad. But um, I can't eat a lot of it. I don't see how somebody can sit and eat, you know. it. Uh, like, I just, no, I'll eat like two crackers and I'm like, I'm cool. Thank you. You know, I just, <laughs> I'm good. I don't want any more. Okay, so <laughs> I'm good. So hog head cheese, you know, they all go around and talk about how it's nasty. And then, you know, I like how the dad, he relates it to his slaves and how they had to make the most out of the least and had to maintain their dignity and how his, I don't know if he said his uncle, I think it was, I don't know if it was his uncle or his father, but, um, basically they were slaves or his grandfather was slaves and how he's so big he was or he had markings from slavery basically so you know just coming out of slavery more than likely his grandparents so or his dad or his grandparents i can't remember y'all but um <clears throat> and how you know he saw him reduced you know so many times when they went to the store or whatever you know how people would talk to him or treat him so they had to maintain some type of dignity in x y and z so i really liked that that was um that was really nice. Um, Nisi was throwing shade, you know, and because Mary Jane was like, he's a comedian. And she was like, she was like, he ain't said nothing funny yet. Okay. I'm like, girl, you just stopped being stupid last week. Okay. So I'm going to need for you not to be doing all that, honey. 
I'm just saying, okay? Like, you just stop being stupid last week, okay? So, <clears throat> yeah, mm-hmm, 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 Yeah, so we, we got that. So he bonds with the family. Then, you know, later on that night, you know, she's, he says that he's missing Mary Jane. And so Mary Jane, you know, what's, uh, baby, what he said? What's 22 centimeters long and misses you? I said, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me get out my phone, okay, and figure out what these measurements are talking about, right? So we got 8.66 centimeters. I mean, 8.66 inches. You feel what I'm trying to say? You understand? You understand what I'm saying? You 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 you, you here with me? You were here with me? Okay, yeah. So yeah. So um, I'm I'm gonna be right there, Mary Jane. So I'm gonna be there. Five minutes. Give me five minutes. She gonna get the strawberries or whatever. And you know, of course, mama start walking around. Mama at least laid out spread, baby. He got it out, laid out for her. And mama walks in. Boom, bam. She see the package. She puts them on the couch. She is like, look, y'all not gonna be hunting up under my roof, okay? So you better keep that thing up inside your underwear. It's not about to go down. So um, Mary Jane apologizes. And um, she, you know, the mom asks, you know, how was the relationship? How is this a serious relationship? She said, well, he, and you know, they talk about the kids that he has. And you know, the mom's like, well, <laughs> what the funniest part of the whole show? She was like, girl, cause you about to be 40. I mean, whatever, you ain't got no eggs left. And you know, whatever you got is probably cracked. Okay. <laughs> I said, well, damn. <laughs> well, damn. <I'm... laughs> damn. So, mom ain't playing no games. Okay. So, um. Yeah, she told Mary Jane her eggs was cracked, so that was a good thing that he had two kids. And, you know, he flew down there, and that's when she was like, oh, he came down here to propose to you. And she was like, no, you know. He said he just wants to meet my family, and, um, you know, he wants me to meet his kids and all that. So that was a cute moment between both of them. Really cute. So now we go to the Third Good Marshall Gala. Third Good Marshall Gala is it's lit, right? It's cute or whatever and um we got some cameos america scene reed we got um andrew young we got civil rights leader ct vivian they all gave little interviews and talked about thurgood marshall and you know his purpose and what he did for the country and you know him being the first um u.s supreme court judge um and, and you know how significant that was and what he did for african-american what he has done i mean what he did for the african-american community so it was really nice you can tell it was a little staged but it's black history Three months so you know i appreciated the little black history lesson that was really nice um yes so vladimir frederick she runs into some people that she used to work with she did that earlier um when when she went to go get her credentials when talked to karen and whatnot too so you know um that was a uh, another part of it <laughs> 